Welcome to Mundane Holy Week. Holiness truly is that sense of being at one in God, set aside and yet within the world. Our sense of this time which is set aside in our homes truly can be a journey that is holy. When we allow God to be in us and ourselves consciously in God. For Monday, Tuesday and Wednesday of this week, we shall be going through the first 14 stations of the cross. Use these and allow them to be those dewdrops that open up, that feed that also face us with ourselves. Allow them to be intercessory prayers for the world and let the Spirit take each word and begin a new creation that will rise up on Easter Sunday. Let's quieten ourselves. Perhaps light a candle, dim the lights and allow the inner illumination to be the greater voice and the soft call soul to soul. The first station, Jesus is condemned to death. We begin with a responsory sentence. I will read the first line. And if you would read the second line or say the second line after I have said it and thereafter you will know which words to say as we go through each station from one to five. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. The response, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The Bible reading is written in Mark chapter 15 verses 1 to 5 and 11 to 15. Jesus was taken in chains to Pilate. The chief priests were accusing Jesus of many things. So Pilate questioned him, aren't you going to answer? He said, listen to all their accusations. Jesus refused to say a word. And Pilate was amazed. He spoke to the crowd. What do you want me to do with this one you call King of the Jews? They shouted back, crucify him. But what crime has he committed? Pilate asked. They shouted all the louder, crucify him. Pilate wanted to please the crowd. So he set Barabbas free for them. Then he had Jesus whipped and handed him over to be crucified. The Meditation Pilate asked what crime Jesus had committed. It was a good question. Jesus had annoyed the religious leaders of that there was no doubt. He had been critical of social and religious structures he had healed the villagers, he had told stories to the crowds. He was probably a threat to public law and order. But was that enough to condemn him to end his life? But he would not defend himself. The storyteller was silent now and the crowd was noisy and Pilate handed him over to be crucified. Let us pray for those on trial this week and for those appointed to judge them. Lord, have mercy. Hear our prayer. The second station, Jesus takes up his cross. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you. Because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. The 
the scripture reading, Mark chapter 15, verses 16 to 20. The soldiers took Jesus inside to the courtyard of the governor's palace and called together the rest of the company. They put a purple robe on Jesus, made a crown out of thorn branches and put it on his head. Then they began to salute him, Long live the king of the Jews! They beat him over the head with a stick, spat on him, fell on their knees and bowed to him. When they had finished mocking him, they took off the purple robe and put his own clothes back on him. Then they led him out to crucify him. A Meditation Soldiers taking the chance for a bit of fun. They had a heavy day ahead. Soon they would have to put on their public face. Disciplined, controlled, efficient. But for now, a bit of a lark with the lads with no risk of recrimination. Dead men tell no stories, and Jesus was going to his death. Let us pray. For those appointed to keep public order, and for those tempted to abuse their power. Lord, in your mercy... Hear our prayer. The third station, Jesus falls for the first time. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Isaiah chapter 53 verse 1 Who would have believed what we now tell? Who could have seen God's hand in this? A meditation. Jesus was exhausted. He was in pain. He was going to his death. The cross was heavy and he fell. He was flesh and blood like us. He was struggling. Let us pray for those who are tired or in pain. Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The fourth station, Jesus meets his mother. We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Luke chapter 2, verse 22, 25, 34, 35. The time came for Joseph and Mary to perform the ceremony of purification as the law of Moses commanded. So they took the child Jesus to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord. At that time, there was a man named Simeon living in Jerusalem. Simeon blessed them and said to Mary, This child is chosen by God for the destruction and salvation of many in Israel. He'll be a sign from God which many people will speak against and so reveal their secret thoughts. And sorrow like a sharp sword will break your own heart. A Meditation She was going to be there at his end, she who had been there with God at his beginning. She was his mother. She had fed him and cradled him and watched over his growing. Whatever he had said and done, he was still her son and she would not desert him now. Whatever pain of his she could embrace, she would. And in the meeting of their eyes there was love, suffering and shining. Let us pray. For parents whose children are in pain or in trouble, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. The fifth station. Simon helps Jesus to carry his cross. 
We adore you, O Christ, and we bless you, because by your holy cross you have redeemed the world. Mark chapter 15, verse 21 On their way through Jerusalem they met a man named Simon, who was coming into the city from the country, and the soldiers forced him to carry Jesus' cross. A meditation. Simon from Cyrene, father of Alexander and Rufus, what a tale you had to tell your children. You helped Jesus. You gave him your strength on the streets of Jerusalem. Willing or unwilling, you, Simon, have become part of his story and he part of yours, for you helped him when he needed you. What would we give to be Simon? Let us pray. For a willingness to serve you in friends and in strangers, Lord, in your mercy, hear our prayer. And so as we come to an end of these first five stations, Allow them to resonate, to be a gong gently sounding. And whatever sticks to your soul, ponder on those things and see what the gift is that really touches you and that God is using to evolve and transform each of our souls. You may want to end this time by praying either with yourself or with those around you and the company of heaven, the Our Father. Amen.